That is one heck of a setup. This is Victor's boat. Victor's on the Hobie Pro Staff. Say hello, Victor. Hey guys, how you guys doing today? This is the first tandem island that I've seen rigged like this. I mean, he's got everything in the kitchen sink on it. And he's got some really cool ideas that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna start in the back here. He's got the Hobie live well, pretty standard, but he actually used the uh, Hobie H-Rail system that you use to stand with and kind of uses it as a, what do you, what do you call these, Victor? Uh, this is uh, Hobie's uh, stand-up bar system. Uh, we've incorporated it into Hobie Tandem Island. We use it as a, I call it a power tower. What that does, uh, it enables the Tandem Island to have Hobie's uh, standard rod holders and also it keeps the main line from the back person getting hit in the head. And that's yeah. a big plus when you're actually uh, sailing. That's that a good a idea. I think it actually makes the, sail, the main sail perform better. Because I've noticed whenever I've been sailing next to Victor that I've seen this different shape of his sail and he's actually been um, faster than me with just the mainsail and it's because of the way he's got that main line. That's a good point. You know what's cool is that Hobie has incorporated this octagon shaped bar and you can use all of Hobie's accessories that they provide. I mean you're talking about putting the GoPro cameras, rod holders, uh, I mean the sky's the limit. All right, and we've seen this before, these little small outboards on the Island Series kayaks. He's got a little Mercury 3.5 here. His hakas are made from loading ramps, which is a good idea. He can add a lot of weight on here. He carries his coolers, his tackle, you know, fish coolers, everything he needs. He's got one set up on both sides. He also has a spinnaker, which I should have filmed him taking it out. It's real neat how it works. There's other videos online showing you how to use one of those. Here's this fish finder setup that I found it was very interesting. He's got got it all in one setup here. He's got some gear tracks laying down on his hakas and he just simply screws it down with these uh, one inch ram balls here. But very convenient because it's it's basically all one unit. And that's the total skins, the Lowrance HD, it's the Lowrance HDI seven with the or the TI seven with the total scan transducer. So it does side scanning, down scan. It does 150 feet in 360 degree radius around the boat. Oh, wow. yeah. It's the newest technology that Lorance has. And where does the transducer go? The transducer sits on yeah. a uh, ram claw and it sits an inch and a half ball. We custom designed a um, arm for it. Um, pretty much sits right below, about six inches below the boat. And that's how it can actually do the side scanning because okay. it removes some of the uh, side obstructions. All right, guys, well, that's the 2016 Hobie Tandem Island. If you're thinking about getting one, you can really rig one with everything that you need to go way offshore. Victor was telling me he goes 15 miles. They target cobia and ling and uh, kingfish and all that good stuff. So maybe it gave you some good ideas. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next episode. Come on.